Hello, my name is John Thurlow. I'm a physiotherapist working for Somerset NHS Foundation Trust. And I'm going to talk about Greater Trochanteric Pain Syndrome, or GTPS, of the hip. I'd like to explain something about the condition, the symptoms you may experience, and give you some ideas on how to manage these. If you want to skip to any of these subjects, there are links in the comments below that will take you to the part of the video that you are looking for. This is a picture of a hip joint. This is the ball of the thigh or femur that articulates with the socket known as the acetabulum of the pelvis. This prominent part of the thigh bone that sticks out is called the greater trochanter and it's the site of some major muscle attachments. There are also several bursa, which are small sacs of fluid which reduce friction with movement between muscles, tendons and bones in your joints. These bursa can become inflamed and irritated and may cause pain in the area. GTPS is a condition causing pain over the outside of the hip. It's caused by a combination of irritation of the bursa and changes in the tendons of the muscles that attach to the greater trochanter. You might be more familiar with the idea of a tendinopathy through conditions like tennis elbow or Achilles tendinopathy. Tendons attach muscles to bones and when they've been repeatedly overloaded by a task that they're not conditioned for, they can sometimes become painful. It is thought that GTPS is caused by a change in activity and weakness in the gluteal muscles, but may also be brought on by direct impact to the area or prolonged pressure, like sitting for a long car journey or lying on your side at night. This condition is more common in women because of the wider hip angle. It's also important to say that being significantly overweight and leading a more sedentary lifestyle are risk factors. However, long distance runners may also experience similar pain. An altered walking pattern, for whatever reason, might also be a factor in this condition. People with GTPS tend to experience pain in the hip and the outer thigh area that they often describe as an aching or a burning. Pain occurs when they compress or load the area. So as I've mentioned, lying on the affected area may be painful. Taking longer steps, walking uphill, sitting cross-legged and standing just on one leg, for example when getting dressed or getting into the car, are also common things that people sometimes say are painful. There are a number of things that you can do to improve the symptoms of GTPS, including reducing the aggravating factors and strengthening around the musculature. Pain relief may also help you engage with your rehabilitation. So you may want to discuss with a pharmacist about some of the over-the-counter pain relief options or talk to your GP. Things to avoid or reduce. Crossing your legs when standing or sitting. Sitting on a low chair. Try not to sleep on the affected side. And when you sleep on the opposite side, use a pillow between your knees to stop your leg dropping down. When lying on your back, you can try raising your lower legs on a small pillow. Don't hip hitch when standing. Make sure your weight is spread evenly. Try not to stand on one leg. When getting into a car, put your bottom in first and then swing your legs round. Sit down to get your trousers on. Getting these things right can improve your pain, even when your rehab starts. When it comes to the physiotherapy, our role is to support you in strengthening the muscles around your hips, while also advising you on ways to decrease the aggravation of your symptoms. Your physiotherapist can also help you identify and stretch any muscles that might be tight and contribute into your symptoms. We often find that strengthening your core muscles has a role to play in the rehabilitation of this condition as well. Standing knee press. Stand with your painful leg away from the wall. Lift your unaffected leg up to 90 degrees as shown in the photo. 
push against the wall with your knee. You should feel the muscles around the edge of your outside hip working. Hold this position for 20 to 30 seconds. Repeat three times. Side lying abduction. Lie on your unaffected side with a pillow between your knees as shown in the photo. Make sure your top leg is in line with your body. Lift the leg up towards the ceiling and slowly lower back to the starting position. Standing abduction. Stand holding onto a stable surface such as a chair or table for balance. Lift your painful leg out to the side and then slowly lower back to normal standing position. Side walking with TheraBand. With a resistance band around your ankles, stand in a mini squat position. Take 10 slow and controlled steps to the left and then repeat to the right. Ensure you stay in a squat position. We hope you found this helpful. If your symptoms don't improve after 12 weeks, you should inform your GP or physiotherapist. Thank you.